It's just a business, right? That's what we tell ourselves. Make money, make a statement, stand out. It's all about the hustle, the focus, the detachment. Don't take it personally, it's just business. It's just business and this is just a basket. But maybe it isn't just a basket. Maybe it's an education, a chance, a hope. I think going to Africa, I had mixed emotions before I went there. Um, I didn't know what to expect. I had heard through John, but until you see it, you just don't understand. John Craig is a, a good friend now that I met years ago here in Greensboro. And we had a business relationship at that point. And he moved to Rwanda, helped work with the Anglican Church. And he called me one day and said, hey, I'm working on a project. And he said, you know, we don't have a lot of money. I know you guys do great websites and sometimes you guys help the community. Would you help me? And I said, well, of course we'll help you. What resonated with me was the school building program they had there through the Anglican Church. They just needed the money to fund it. After the website was finished, um, John stopped by my office and brought me a gift. He brought me a beautiful basket from Africa that was handmade by the artisans in Gitarama. It was gorgeous. It was beautiful. I, I could have just put it up on the wall, but then after he explained to me about the funding issues, I thought, why can't we put these together? and use these baskets to generate income and push those funds back to Rwanda so they could solve their funding problem. So that's what we wound up doing. Long story short, we worked with Burton and Burton to get the operational part of this thing going, to get the FDA approval that we needed, to get them through customs, to get them transported and into their warehouse. They played a big role in that. The whole trip to Africa was emotional it, for me. I, I, I learned so much, but I got to meet these people face to face that were producing the baskets. We couldn't communicate really well with them, but eventually they got Tracy to sit down with them. They started showing her how to weave a basket from the very small beginnings of it. It was a, there was a bit of a bonding that went on with, between us and these women we had never met before that we're gonna produce all these baskets. And it was just amazing to see this whole project from the very beginning all the way to the end where now there's a school built. One of the things I've learned is that you don't have to be a big company to do what we're doing. You just have to make time for it. I think small companies can do this. We're small, we're 50 employees. It's been part of our business since we were nine employees. I think every business should find that niche, find that thing that makes their heart beat faster, that they have a passion for, that they can go after to make the world better. So that one basket could have just been put up on our wall as a pretty basket, but we turned it into thousands of baskets. We turned it into new schools, we turned it into thousands of kids getting an education and being fed and uh, we were we were weaving hope